Hi, this is Rob Cornish from GainHighGround.com. I hope you're well, and in this video, we are going to do two things. Firstly, I'd like to share with you the results from the recent questionnaire that I put out to my subscribers. And secondly, I'd like to show you a few ways that you can actually use questionnaires uh, for yourself to gain a real invaluable insight into your market or whatever market you're going to go into in the future. Um, th th there's really some such good uh, kind of uh, mining, data mining if you like, you can do with questionnaires um, if you set them up right. And I'm going to show you how to do this completely for free. It hardly really takes uh, much effort or time at all either. So let's get started. And the first thing we're going to do, like I said, is actually look at some of the results that I, I've had um, uh, in the questionnaire that I created. So. Um, what I've done is actually created this questionnaire in Google Drive. Um, now actually Google Drive um, is the kind of new name for Google Docs. So when you log into your Google account, um, you'll, you, you might see Docs up here at the top. Or if you don't, then you can add it with the More button here. If you just come down and add it or go to Even More, you'll be able to get that set up. It's all totally free. But for me, I've kind of upgraded, if you like, to uh, Drive, which again is free. It's just the new version. So let's click there, first of all. And you'll see I've greyed out some of these uh, documents just because it's they're actually shared with private clients and so on, so uh, it wouldn't be fair to them. But the most important one is right here at the bottom, which is Gain Higher Ground Subscriber Feedback. So let's click into there, and I'll show you um, some of the results. Now what we're looking at is a spreadsheet, a Google spreadsheet, and this contains the actual individual results uh, from all the people who actually uh, filled out the questionnaire. Now obviously we're, you can actually just look at the individual responses, but what's really good about um, uh, this Google application is that you can actually uh, get a summary, a really nice sum graphical summary of all the results. So if I go up here to form and I can come down to show summary of responses, so I'll click there, you see a new window pops open and you can see so far um, I've got 244 people who have taken the time to actually fill out my questionnaire and submit it. Um, that's I probably sent this out uh, I guess just under a couple of days ago um, so this is still rising but you know I think at 244 that's uh, more than enough we need to be kind of statistically significant you know and get some meaningful information so let's go through and I just want to point out a few things that I think you might just be generally interested in and I'll also make a few comments um, uh, about these results and what they might mean in terms of an interpretation. So first of all, what is your age? You can see uh, there's hardly any uh, kind of really young people um, it, um, that have filled this out. Um, but the majority, I mean, I'm in this age bracket. I'm actually 36. So 35 to 49 is, uh, is quite a lot of people in that group. But the most popular is 50 to 65, okay? And that's actually something that I kind of knew already. Uh, and just wanted to confirm with this um, questionnaire. But what you find is a lot of the niches, particularly in internet marketing, also um, stock trading, for example, which is, uh, or Forex, if you like, uh, which is an area I've marketed in myself. Um, you do tend to, this is a typical profile in terms of age, um, age brackets. Um, okay, so that's, those are those results. Mostly male, okay, this is actually 82% of people are male and 18% are female. Now this is quite interesting. How much money do you make online per month? A staggering 48% of people have never made anything and uh, they, they never have and that they, they haven't, uh, they're not right now either, okay? Um, there's 15% of people are not making any money now but they have in the past. And then the rest uh, of the people, um, and this is about, if you add these up, it's about 37, 38% of people are actually um, making money online, but um, it's kind of maybe what you recall, uh, call a sort of residual income, okay? So it's kind of a few hundred bucks a month, maybe up to a thousand or whatever. It's a few people um, from 1,000 to 5,000. 
Okay, so that's quite interesting. So I suppose what we do want to know is that, you know, is it just because people are brand new and they're only just got started, so uh, that's why they haven't made any money? Or is it because people have been trying for a long time and uh, they have they've kind of haven't yet made it, okay, they haven't had the success that they want? We'll go on to have a look at some other questions in a moment to, to clarify that. So let's move down. Um, are you um, um, employed full time? Well, that, along with self employed or own business, it are the most popular um, categories. And you can see a fair amount of retirees and um, some people who work part time, maybe retired the rest of the time, and so on. Um, what's the biggest thing you struggle with? Well, information overload at 43% is the number one uh, target. I can tell you I still struggle with this, okay? I know we talk about it so much on the blog, don't we, and in the membership site and all of that. Um, the, there are so many things you can do to overcome information overload, okay? Unsubscribe from all the people's, all, all those marketers that just send you promotion after promotion. Focus on building a list and a real business. Um, you know, disregard anything that claims you can make money, thousands of dollars or whatever, by this time next week, because you can't. Basically, uh, those are just that's part of the hype, I guess, in internet marketing. And just treat it like a business. So there's, there's things like that and other things which you can do, which will help you. But I can tell you, it, it it's it, even now. You know, I'm actually looking at some different. Uh, smaller niches in my business and also some things like software and mobile uh, marketing and even that after a while when you're looking at those you can get a bit over uh, overloaded even though you know um, I, I've been online for a while and seen some some great success so it's just an awareness I, I guess but it does get better I think over time so that's the kind of good news and the light at the end of the tunnel staying motivated is uh, another um, big thing and I think the key with that is actually to get some early results so by results I mean if you're brand new starting out then a, re a good result is one visitor to your website then it's one subscriber to your list and then it's one sale okay that's the kind of the the first results that you can get and I promise you even after you made your first sale um, that that really is incredibly motivating because you actually it's nothing like it you've actually seen that it can be done okay even if it's just like a a couple of dollars or five dollars or something uh, it, it can be really motivating <clears throat> and then as you move forward you can actually then uh, build on that success and those early results and you get even more motivated and that's certainly what's happened to me and I, I definitely get that feedback from other people who you know have been through this uh, you know as I have as well and uh, as uh, as you are as well of course so how long have you been interested in internet marketing this comes back to the other question if you remember um, when we saw that um, I think it was what was it 48% of people have never made money online so we were saying is it just because they're brand new or they've been trying for a long time and not yet had that success well it's the latter I think because you can see the majority of people have actually been online over a year alright um, so there are some new people of course you know and some quite a few people that are been on between three and three months and a year but obviously there's something going wrong there because people have been um, online for you know quite a bit of time and maybe that that information overload and, and the motivation issues are kind of dragging them back from that success okay um, and by the way another thing that's really bad to do as you probably know is just buy one product after the other okay throwing money kind of scattergun at the problem is, is, is very unlikely to yield results so yes you do need to invest and um, investing in good solid training is very very um, you know is a great idea but make sure whatever you do just make sure it's really targeted and it's definitely something that you can follow through on that'll that alone will really increase your um, chances of success there okay let's move on um, what's your income goal uh, this is quite interesting because the majority you know look there's an over 10 grand a month here and a few people have picked it. in fact that's four percent but um, not everyone is saying you know look I want to earn millions and loads of money okay most people um, 
the most popular response is actually in this bracket, two and a half thousand dollars to five thousand dollars per month. And I think that really makes sense when you consider the answer to the next question as well, because look, 73% of people are more interested in lifestyle than money. And I love both, you know, I've always said this, um, you know, since I started, that's why I came into it, because I want to make money, of course we all do, but I also want nice lifestyle, because the jobs I had in the past, I loved all of them, okay, everything from working in the factory or the petrol station I worked in for six years, or um, when I was uh, an investment analyst or work, uh, worked in uh, fund management as well, all of those jobs, whatever it is, um, I always enjoyed all of them, okay. Um, but what I didn't like was the regime, the nine to five regime, or in my case, it was seven till six, the last job I, I actually uh, had. Um, so money's not the only thing, and that's really interesting, isn't it? That most people are after the lifestyle, and look, you know, it is, it's, it's about a residual income or, or an income replacing uh, income that, that maybe you can move away from your job or um, just go part time or just have a more flexible lifestyle. So very interesting stuff. Now, this is good. Please choose two topics that you would most like to learn more about, okay? So what are the most popular ones? List building, very pleased to see that because that is the number one thing, okay? Look at anyone who's successful online or offline, all the businesses, they all have a database of prospects and customers. It's so important. So I'm so pleased to see that that's the number one response there. That's great news. Um, affiliate marketing is very popular. Okay, that's one way I make money. And it's very, very good. And once you get it going, it's very uh, lightweight as well. It really doesn't take that much time just to review products uh, and, and then actually um, make a recommendation. Product creation as well, I'm pleased to see that because that is a very rewarding process uh, in terms of you creating something out of nothing it's a really sort of it's like kind of quite wholesome you know it's a good it's a good feeling when you go through it even though you might be a little bit daunted before you do it um, and um, also finding a niche as well and I think this probably reflects the um, people who are maybe um, right at the beginning and more, more uh, haven't been online for so long and they haven't found the right area for me. This is something else I knew was very popular before and that's actually why I created my 101 Profitable Niches ebook which I give away for free on gainhigherground.com. Um, so, so again I hope you can start to see now how feedback from um, your subscribers or from visitors to your website can really give you um, some good ideas and inspiration on what to create so it's really targeted and you're really delivering kind of the value that people want. Now the only other comment I'll make here is I'm very pleased to see SEO was the least popular um, uh, response and I think um, if you'd have done this, if I'd have run this say two or three years ago, um, or three years ago was before I kind of started really, but um, I wasn't online then, but, but you know if you did it three or four years ago I think SEO probably would have been the number one but I think people are starting to realize that SEO is actually a very, very time consuming, laborious and uncertain uh, method of getting traffic. SEO, of course, is search engine optimization. It's about ranking web pages high in Google to get traffic from Google. But it's increasingly competitive. It's a long term game. You're competing with people who spend lots and lots of money on outsourced teams to uh, you know, pay for tools and software. Uh, and and to do SEO um, and of course the game rules change all the time with every Google update you know we hear about Panda, Penguin, um, Matt Cutts from Google has just said there's another update coming uh, coming up as well so I'm really pleased to see that people aren't focused on that so much it has got its place SEO maybe you know particularly if you're doing like local business marketing or uh, some very very small niches but generally you know I mean about 10% I think of the traffic I get is from Google and uh, most of that traffic is just people searching for my name or for gain high ground so they already know I exist they're just trying to find my site again so really SEO I don't care what Google does it's it's not really um, 
the way to go. As we say so often on the blog, and particularly in Gain High Ground Membership, um, you know, and we cover in detail, there's so many other traffic strategies, both free and paid, that you can implement that have bigger bang for buck than SEO. Enough said on that, let's move on. Um, how much money are you willing to invest? So this is a really good question to ask. Again, if you do a questionnaire, and um, we'll talk about how you can do that in a moment, but um, if you ask you know, a question like this, um, this is really useful to, to know how much to charge and, and what, uh, and more importantly, what value do your subscribers, your audience place on this kind of information, okay, or, or products or services or whatever you're selling, okay? Um, so you can see the majority is anywhere between $50 and um, $500, okay? Um, so I've sold things online, I think the cheapest products, well, I suppose I've done $1 trials, so I suppose uh, that's the cheapest product, but, but really it's kind of $5 has been the cheapest product, and uh, the equivalent of, I guess, $5,000 has been the most expensive. So again, it, after, over time it makes sense to have that spread, but still really useful to know kind of what the hot area is and, uh, of, of, of pricing uh, and what the you know how much people value uh, the, the products that are available in the marketplace. Um, what's your preferred format for receiving training? Video and ebooks are very popular. Now that brings us on to this. I had this idea that um, people were getting sick of video and webinars because I get these comments, people saying, "Oh, I'm sick of webinars." You know, all all that happens is they waste an hour of your time. Um, it's an inconvenience to turn up live and then they try and sell you something. It's just a disguised sales pitch. Um, so I asked this question to find out um, you know, if my suspicion was true that people were getting sick of it. And actually, this shows I was completely wrong. So 86% of people are more likely to watch a webinar or video now compared to a year ago. And remember from the earlier thing that most people were actually... Um, uh, are not new, right? They've been online for over a year. So these are people that have been around for a while and they've seen the trends in the market as well. Again, a lot of people say ebooks are dead, okay? Don't bother doing an ebook, you can't do that. But look at this 76% of people say they're more likely to read an ebook or report compared to a year ago. So I hope you can see again. Questionnaires so important because you you or I may have ideas, but they could be completely wrong, and it doesn't matter what you and I think. It matters what the you know you, the audience thinks, um, and in this case, obviously on that question, I was completely wrong. So that's a, that's a really interesting result there for me personally. Okay, finally, how would you describe yourself as a marketer? Most people are beginners. I guess that confirms some of the. Um, uh, reflect some of the other answers we got okay uh, there's quite a lot of intermediate people I guess those are the people that are actually uh, uh, more of the people who are making the money okay actually uh, earning money every month online so what I'd like to do I think that's that's more than enough on the actual results for now um, what I will show you just very briefly is that I actually did some other <clears throat> questions in the spreadsheet and actually put um, uh, an area where people can type, okay? And uh, these are individual responses that people have typed, okay? You can see, so many questions I get is I don't know what to email my list about, I don't know what to write about on my blog, um, I don't know um, uh, what product to create, and, and it's a real issue, you know? Um, but look, if you have a questionnaire like this, look at how much information I've got. I've got so much information. Um, people um, have told me exactly what their ideas are, you know, and you can actually just go through um, uh, some of these and just get stat more, way more ideas than you need. So it's a brilliant way of brainstorming. So what I'd like to do now is actually show you how to um, uh, basically uh, set these up. So the first thing is to um, you, you can use other systems like SurveyMonkey is very popular. Okay, so you could definitely check out that. I've chosen to use Google Drive, and in particular, if you go to Create once you've got this set up, remember this is all completely free. Go to uh, Forms. Okay, just select a form. Okay, and we'll give this um, 
a title here, sample uh, questions we'll call it, and let's just do, we'll just do an example so I can show you how it works, so um, <clears throat> are you male whoops, or female, okay, and then let's have this as multi-choice, so you can see you can do different styles of, uh, uh, or different types of questions as well, we'll do multiple choice, uh, we'll put male, uh, and then below here we'll put female and obviously you know some markets are, are much more dominated by um, females than males so again it's a really interesting thing what you get you can get totally different results compared to uh, the ones that I've just just seen but it, anyway this is how you create your questions that's the point I'm going to click done here and up at the top right I can go to save okay and if we just go back now to my drive if I refresh you can see that we've got sample questions alright so if I click into that what happens is you get taken through to the spreadsheet and this is as you've seen in my um, questionnaire that I actually did for real you can see that um, these are the actual questions uh, that you you get uh, or, or these will be the individual responses what you can also do is if you come up to form uh, you can do a couple of things you can um, show summary of responses and that will give you that graphical representation all the charts and everything automatically generated okay for you so that's really good um, and also if you go to form and go to live form that will show you how the form actually looks so you can see we have just created this uh, questionnaire so if I go mail here and then I click submit okay your response has been recorded and we could go back to this questionnaire you can see the spreadsheet has filled out and if I go up to show summary of responses hopefully there we go we've got a chart already and 100% of people it's only one which is me is saying they're male so you can see it's really simple to set up it's totally free and what you can do you can put this uh, you you know once you once you've done this by the way um, if you go to uh, form and go to live form just take that URL this web address and promote that so when I say promote it I mean um, <clears throat> if you've got a list you will email it to your list that's how I did it you could put it onto your website okay and give visitors to your website a chance to fill out the questionnaire you could put it on Facebook or Twitter um, really anywhere um, that you've got you can put it in the uh, download page of a product that you're selling okay um, you could put it in uh, as a link in a, in a guest post that you do um, but a really good idea and this is what I was referring to right at the um, uh, beginning this is actually, I, I used to do this actually, um, I, I tried it out for a while, not with a big questionnaire but with um, just a, an email response. What you can do is put this in your autoresponder sequence. So think about this, people join your list and then maybe after say uh, a couple of days they automatically get delivered the email which says hey could you uh, help, uh, help me to help you. So I'd really like to understand um, more about you and what I can do to help you please take a moment to fill out this questionnaire you send them to this link they go through to your questionnaire and they fill it out obviously not everyone does because it takes a bit of time and effort so you'll only get a small percentage of people um, actually who do it um, but over time um, you'll start to get a build-up of responses as more and more people actually uh, join your list and and actually fill out your questionnaire so when you're short of ideas on products on blog posts on what to write in emails or whatever it is what you can do you can just come into Google Drive you can um, open up the, uh, the the results to the questionnaire <clears throat> see how many new um, responses you've got and just scan through them and you've got the ideas and the inspiration there and this is not out of a textbook it's not from some you know MBA marketing consultant it's not from uh, me or from your, you know your friends down the pub this is real people the real audience and what they want and that's why it's so valuable so there you go I hope that helps I apologize for the length of this video but um, hopefully that's given you some ideas and remember 
to set this up I've just shown you a very simple example in the in, in the video it's free it will take you maybe an hour or two the first time you do it I think the one I did probably took me like 40 minutes or something um, and once it's done if you put it into your autoresponder sequence um, people will like you your audience will like you because um, you're actually asking for their opinion and uh, people generally like that many companies and businesses don't bother to do that and you'll get some really really super valuable market research feedback that's it for this video thanks so much for watching if you did like it please click um, if you're watching on the blog please um, click like uh, and tweet this below and also just uh, drop your comments any questions you have um, I'd love to hear what you think about this um, and the results uh, just please uh, drop a quick uh, um, uh, note into the questions uh, or sorry the comments box below this video below the post thanks a lot I'll talk to you soon take care bye